S199 Corsair model are taking off. Hey guys, welcome to the S199. I, uh, I like to call this the S for side climb 199 when it comes to War Thunder because this thing is not a uh, fantastic climber. <laughs> now, you may, you may obviously recognize that this is quite familiar to a BF109, and if you haven't watched it already, watch my modeling history video on the, on the S199 and you'll get a much clearer understanding of um, how this aircraft came to be, what it was developed from and what it sold for, and more importantly, why it's Israel's first fighter in War Thunder, but also that the Israeli Air Force is first fighter in real life as well. Um, so yeah, go, go ahead and check that out. But we're going to be flying this today. And, uh, well, this, this may be sort of a, one of my first vessels in the Avia S199 since I got a couple of the upgrades on it. Now, as I said, uh, I call this the S for Side Climb 199 because this does not climb, especially in comparison to its uh, BF109 counterparts. And a lot of that is due to the fact that it has a Emo engine that's significantly underpowered for the fighter. Um, it has a low top speed overall, or at least it is in real life. I can't remember if it is the case in the game. Uh, but it, in terms of performance in War Thunder, and I guess in other flight simulators potentially, it's just not going to climb like you would expect it to. However, this does have a good amount of firepower. When you set this thing off, like, it, it really does pop off quite well, like, to be honest. I've got a few really nice kills in this thing so far. Oh, look at our squad. We're actually sticking to... Wow, I say squad to my team. <laughs> We're actually sticking together not too badly this time. Oh, they're going over me. Oh, I love this game. It's sometimes this game just looks absolutely incredible. Like, look at them go heading towards them. Oh, kills already. Nice. Um, so strategies of the thing, I would say, I I sort of try and fly as far <laughs> as away as I can, um, and get as high as I can and quickly as I can. There's not really a lot you can do. <laughs> you do basically need to get yourself in the right position. Um, because this thing will get slaughtered if you don't have sort of an escape path, I'd say. Um, it can dogfight quite well, and I say it does have really good firepower. It is still a 109, just an underpowered one. Oh. Okay, not getting that kill. <laughs> I thought this would be my time to show you the firepower, but clearly it's not. Uh, but yeah, this is still a 109. It can still fly quite well. It feels okay. It's not the worst in the world, but it's it's definitely not my favourite fighter. And I'm not a massive 109 uh, pilot anyway. I tend to fly sort of French and Italian aviation more than anything. But yeah, this thing is it's all right. <laughs> That's basically my view. It's just fine. It's it's, it's fine. It's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting addition, and it's one of the only places you can fly this aircraft, so it's it's really nice that it's added for that reason. Because, you know, the Czech uh, manufacturer isn't really present anywhere else, so yeah. So we're going to try and go in here and uh, see if we can... Nope. Okay. Cool. That's fine, Gail. Anyone, any kills? <laughs> oh, we'll get someone at some point. I mean, once you get the jump on someone, you can really pop off on this. There we go. Okay. It's time for them. We've got the speed. We've got the speed. Come on. Oh, look at that. It's devastating. So, I mean, this thing has a really, really immense firepower when you get in the right position. Like, all we had to do was just make sure we, we were in the right position. It is a boom and zoom, I'd say. Um, as I say, it does have some dog fighting capabilities but it's not like absolutely amazing at it <laughs> so yeah i guess now we just need to go climb again <laughs> um i did see they had someone else but i think they were higher up so and we just need to keep climbing because that's the only way place i saw sort of make enemies so yeah it's uh time to side climb don't know about you, but you know, sometimes when you, when a girl's got a side climb, I like to sit there and think about how pretty this can be, and it does look really nice. You know, it looks really, really, really lovely. 
I just wish the clouds had a bit more of a focus of meter updates. But I guess most people never get to them, huh? Because no one ever progresses to jets in this unless you're like a really dedicated player. I mean, I've only just got to them myself. Okay. There is someone above me. I can hear them all really quite well. Like, you can hear they're not near me, but I can hear they're near enough. I'm just going to keep climbing. If I get dive done, then I will obviously, you know, pull some evasive maneuvers and we'll make sure that we can survive and turn around and attack. This this thing does retain energy quite well, I find. Um, it's, I say it's a boom and zoom, it's, but it should retain energy and that's what 109s are quite good at, but it's very easy because this is so underpowered to lose it more so than you would in a 109. Okay, so we're going to start turning for this. I think they're going for my teammates because I've got some teammates further behind me. As I say, I pulled out to try and climb. Okay. I can't see exactly where they've gone. I saw them go over. I can sort of hear them still. I've just gone all the way behind. Okay. We sort of know where they are then. So, this should be sort of the final engagement. So I don't think there's really any left on either squadron that, or either team, should I say, at this point. Let's see if we can get the final kill in the Avia. Because, uh... I'm not feeling confident. <laughs> I, like, uh, this is not an aircraft I'm massively comfortable at, so we're just going to have to see how it goes. I'm sure we can do it, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, like, I normally don't laugh so much, but I'm just not confident in this. A pilot can only do so much, right? <laughs> and the Avia definitely isn't, like, known for being a pilot's friend. I mean, it was called the Mule in real life by Czech pilots for a reason. <laughs> So that was a flame out. It's just, I think, me and one teammate and then one enemy left. I don't know if there's another teammate somewhere else on the map. I'm not going to ring up the score, so look. <laughs> Let's just uh, go in. They're dragging me down, which is fine because I think I'll retain energy better than they will. So we can afford to let this fight happen and we can just go in and save it. They've already lost a lot of height because they flew over me not that long ago and I've not been gaining height since then. So I think we're going to be okay. Let's just watch them as they descend. Okay. Okay. We should be okay on this. Oh god. Okay, I really need to hit this on this pass. Let's line up properly. We've got the speed on this. We can do this. He's already really damaged. Let's do this. Let's go for it. We've got this. And... Yeah, that's it. Feel confirmed. AVS-199 returning. We did it! I think we sort of didn't really help our team because I don't think there's anything left up in us, but hey, we did it! <laughs> so I guess there you go, that's the uh, ABS S199, the Czech built BF109 that was neither BF109 or really a product of its time. <laughs> it was just compromised in every way. It's an interesting aircraft, but it's not one I would thoroughly recommend. It was very expensive to new players in War Thunder um, compared to going through other tech trees. And to be honest, given this, I, I guess, the skill cap to fly this aircraft, I'd say maybe stick to like, you know, going through Germany's tree because you get BF-109s really early anyway. So you're not really going to lose anything by doing that. <laughs> and I mean, you'll probably have a lot more fun than you would in this aircraft. 
So yeah, see you later.